What's up? It's your big brother, Trend Jeans, and you tuned in once again to the famous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we do, right? Listen. Y'all got to do it with me. Say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Hey, this is an exclusive video. You watching this video for a reason because, I'm, listen, I'm not going to tell you nothing that you don't already know, okay? It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video, okay? You don't, you're not going to want to miss a word that I got to that I gotta tell you, okay? I'm about to confirm everything that you've been thinking. Listen, these people try to make you feel like you're crazy. But see, the thing is, you're not crazy. You're just smarter than them. You're just smart, okay? You're just smart, and they dumb, all right? So with that being said, once again, stay tuned to the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe to your big brother when this video is over because I'm about to confirm some things to you and you're not going to want to ever miss nothing in the future that I'm confirmed to you also. All right. But listen, here's the thing. Listen, a lot of people that you encounter, a lot of people that, you know, you was in their presence once upon a time, a lot of people that you used to date and you had good intentions. Okay. Okay. You know you wanted to make it the best relationship ever, all right? But for some strange reason, they shorted you. For some strange reason, they did not amount up to, to be the person you thought they would be. You found out that they was Decepticons. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth, all right? These people ain't forgot you, all right? They have not forgotten you. Matter of fact, they probably thought about you this morning when they woke up, okay? Listen, when people stab you in their back, when people do you wrong intentionally, Okay, and when they intentionally do you wrong on purpose, that's karma. Okay, that's karma on them. And so what they got to do is they got to wake up every single day and it's going to be on their conscience. I really don't see how they live like that. I really don't see how people live with, with, with negativity that they've done to you on their conscience all the time. They must they like superheroes or something. They superheroes shit because I don't understand how they do it. But they somewhere right now, like, I wish I never would have did that. Oh, man, now look at them. They doing good, man. Look at me. I wish I never would have. Oh, man, I wish I never would have did that to him, man. I wish I would have never did that to him. Look at who he's becoming. He's becoming so great. And I had the opportunity. Yep. Yes, you did. You did. See, that's the thing. That's the thing about the Decepticons, folks. Listen, it was an illusion. The whole time when they was with you, they were seeing through false eyes. They were seeing an illusion, okay? But guess what? Now they they wish they had you. They wish they had you around. But see, they lost you. They had the opportunity. See, you see, that's the thing I know about you, chosen one. Cause that's why you still watching this video. Cause you a good hearted person. All right. You give everybody the benefit of a doubt. Am I am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, somebody say, somebody say yeah. Somebody say amen, yeah. You give people the benefit of a doubt all the time. You got a real good heart, okay? I know for a fact you are a forgiving person, okay? You forgive people not one time, two times, sometimes even three. If you're feeling good on a good day, all right? You a real good person and you give people the benefit of a doubt, all right? But it's crazy because when you do that, it's, it's funny because people still take advantage of you. They still don't believe you. They still don't trust you. They still turn their back on you and do some funny shit. Like, how do they do that? Where they do that at? I'm giving you my all. I'm giving you my last. Okay, I take my shirt off my back and let you wear it. And you still go behind my back and you cheat on me? How do they do that? Where do they create human beings like that at? You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you something, Starcy. It's okay, okay? Because I'm telling you, you got it well off now than all the people that ever did you wrong, all right? They trying to, listen, they trying to come up with some type of master plan so that they can get back into your life. I'm going to say that one more time. All the people that did you wrong, and you probably was like, yo, what did I do wrong? You didn't do nothing wrong. You was doing everything right. All right. They did you wrong because they was not ready for you. See, it, see, the thing you got to understand, Star C, is something about you that intimidates people. All right. It's something about you that just it just gets to people. They don't know what it is. That's, but see, the thing is, they don't know you're the chosen one. See, they don't know you are Star C. And so what they'll try to do to you and what they have done. See, they you had they had that little five seconds, 10, two, three days of fame. You know, what I mean. 
The time that you treated them, you showed them a good time out. You gave them your, your trust. All right. You gave them a little bit of your, your time. Like, yeah, you know, you showed them who you are in that moment. You know, you gave them some attention. Basically, you gave them some attention. All right. They had you give them their little one day of attention. And for some strange reason, they always fuck it up. They always fuck the shit up. I mean, you didn't have to do it, but you did it. And see, this is one thing about the Decepticons is, see, when they come into contact with a person like you who's smart, highly intelligent, super sophisticated, okay? They know you smart, but the thing is they try to be smarter than you, okay? See, when they come in your presence, they think it's all about competition, all right? They see they see your level of success. They might have heard that you got a, you know, you got a vision. They see that you focus on your purpose. They see that you're not worried about nobody. They see that you don't need nobody. That's what killed them the most, Starseed. The fact that you don't need them, that's what disturbs them demons inside them the most. It just disturbs their demons. Like, she ain't calling me for nothing. She don't need nothing for me. She don't need my money or nothing like that. Uh -uh. She don't need my money or nothing. Okay. Well, you know what? Next time I go around her door. Next time I go around, I'm going to take my other girl around her door. I'm going to take my other girl who needs something. I'm going to take my bum Sheikah with me, dog. She always need me, dog. You know what I mean? They feel like they're crip. They feel like they blood now. They, they feel like they hard because they know you a star seed and they know you don't need nothing. You don't need nothing from them. Okay. And it disturbs they demons, man. I'm telling you, this is, this is real. Decepticons are running rampant out here. Okay. They running haywire out here. They everywhere like roaches. Okay, the thing about them is it's all about a power control for them. It's all about power and control. When they get you, they, when they finally get you and they get your attention and they see how powerful, how mentally strong you are, how intellectually you are, how intellectual you are. It's like they can't compete with that. And so the next thing they do is they go in overdrive mode for power. All right. And, and they think that they try to treat you with disrespect. Okay, they treat you with disrespect. Failing to realize that you giving you you giving them your undivided attention. Damn it, I'm giving you my attention. I didn't have to even invite your ass here, but I'm giving you my attention. And then when they get your attention, when you finally buy them a gift, or when you finally get them a ride somewhere that they couldn't pay for on their own, when you finally take her out, you take the girl out or whatever, she have the nerve to flip on you, and she ain't paying for shit. Oh, you say, why they do that? Then? This is because you give them their little 15 seconds of fame. That's all they can afford anyway. They can just only afford 15 seconds of fame because they could never, they could never be a star seed like you. And so guess what? Now they somewhere, they, they know they realize they lost what they had. I'm telling you, it's people back in high school that still know you, that's been following you ever since you went to college. When you got out of college, they they real, they real knew you got married. They knew you got a new man or whatever. They've been watching you the whole time because you probably were somebody who they admire in high school. Okay? Even, in, even with your college classmates, most of your college classmates is following you. You don't think that they following you? You don't think these people be following you? They, they got all these social media networks nowadays, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All they got to do is type up your name and just, just spy on you. That's all they got to do. Okay? This is the technology era. It's easy to find you. How do you think you find Big Bro? Huh? Listen. All right? These people... These people admire you. They admire you. But see, the thing is, once they got your attention, once they get into your presence, once they come into your life, okay, they want to show you they like, okay? See, they see you shining so bright. They see you doing great things. They see you taking all these beautiful pictures and living your best life ever, such and such and so forth. So they, in, in the inside, it makes them feel a little bit jealous, OK, so they want to get close to you. They want to get real close to you. They want to become your bestie. Yeah, girl. Yeah, we got the same. Yeah, I like that, too. Yeah, I, I went down there. I, I went down there yesterday. They told me I couldn't get in. <laughs> but you, you went too. <laughs> yeah, that same. Yeah, he was down there. He was at the door. Yeah, he was flirting with me, too. See, the thing is, they want to get close to you so that he can show you they like. But they ain't they ain't as bright as you. 
They some Decepticons. You, they ain't, they ain't smart. They smart. They smart. They the regular letters. They, they not the, they not smart. Okay. But see, they think that they gonna get somewhere in life. Okay. They think they gonna earn some type of points. Lord forbid. They think that God gonna bless them all majesty because they can get to hang around a chosen one and show the chosen one how special they are. Oh Lord. You know what I mean? They think you Jesus or something. If you if they can just touch the hem of your garment, then they gonna get a blessing. Oh, where they do that at? Okay, but see the thing is, see now they now they realize that they lost somebody special. Okay, it was an illusion the whole time. The time that they threw the fit with you, the time, bro, the time she was acting out doing all this all this negative shit towards you, trying to make you feel like you was the bad guy, dog. Now she's somewhere suffering. Now she's somewhere like, damn, I, I wish I could still be with him. I wish I could still be with him, man. Now I can't even get nowhere. I don't have a car. I can't even go down the road now. I can't even go to the corner store now because I don't even got no car. He had a car. You know, he had it. He had his shit together. But I, why did I do him like that? Uh, they cr they going crazy. They going crazy because they want to be they want to be like you. They miss what they had. See, all the people that counted you out in your life, you know, you used to tell them all the time, Lord, I'm going to do this with my life, dog. I'm going here. I'm going to make this happen, man. I, bro, I'm going to get me a fine woman, dog. Trust me. Trust and believe. I am. Like, I'm going to start this business. You know what I mean? The whole, all them people that you told that you was going to do that to, you know, all those people that you came across on your journey, all those friends and people that you came across on your journey who didn't listen to you, now they're somewhere like, damn, I should have listened to her. I should have listened to her because she living better than me now. You know what I mean? She living a much more happier life than me now. Clearly, she don't need me because she's happy. She's happy. She she looks good. She still she still radiating. She still shining the same way I met her. See, that's the thing that killed the Decepticon the most. They can't stand to see you shine without them. Huh? Listen. Huh? They can't they can't stand to see you going to play tennis the day without them. They can't stand it. He still, he playing tennis? I ain't know you played tennis, twin. Hey, big brother twin, I ain't know you played tennis. They can't stand to see you doing shit without them. Because see, when they was with you, they thought that they was the best thing that you ever had. But the best thing is, is the best thing come every day for you. Huh? You drink tea too? Yeah, I like ginger in my tea and turmeric too with the honey in it, baby. Put some honey in there. We eating healthy. Listen, y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen, they mad because you still healthy. Damn, you mad at my health? Yeah, these Decepticons mad because you, you still glowing. They, still, they mad because you still got white teeth. Like, damn, I can't smile no more. I can't be happy no more. The Decepticons get mad when you happy. Damn, you, damn, you went, you went to the Whole Food. How can you go to the Whole Food store? I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you get to buy real vegetables and I still got to buy uh, GMO shit. I don't like that. Yo, them vegetables, the reason why you, the reason why them, you, buy, you can buy them vegetables so cheap, Trend, is because they plastic. Them vegetables are all plastic. That's why they cheap. No, they cheap because I'm in the damn store that was in a U.S. Today magazine, honey. This shit was in U.S. Today. I'm in a farmer's market that was in U.S. Today magazine. The whole, in the, the number one farmer's market in the whole country. Dummy. That's why it's cheap. Because they get money. They don't need all damn money to buy these damn vegetables. Listen, man, y'all gotta y'all gotta listen what I'm saying. These Decepticons is running rabbit. Hey, somebody go help me get these Decepticons on. Give me some roundup. Give me some roundup. Listen, man. Now they somewhere wishing that they never had a left you hanging out the dry. All the people that did you wrong, they it's on their consciousness now. Karma is talking to them now. Why did you do that to her? Why, why did you why did you treat them like that? Why did you treat them like that? Why did you close the door on them? Why did you leave and go get with this guy? Well, he was the one. He was the one for you. She was the one. You know what I mean? Listen, they gonna they feel so bad now because they with Bum Chica now. Bum Chica can't do nothing for them. She dry. She dried all out. She dried out. She dry. 
He down to act like he happy with Bum Sheikah, but Bum Sheikah is dry. She's like a damn desert. He not getting no, he, he not getting no moisture in his skin. He not wearing no solar creations or nothing because she's dry. But she look good on the outside. She look like she good on the outside, but she dry. You know what I mean? She don't got no, she don't know how to conversate with him. She don't know what he really like. She don't really know who he truly is. She don't even know he a damn Decepticon. What they do that at? It's two Decepticons together now. Let them stay together because we doing big things over here. Listen, it's your big brother, Trend Genius Star Seeds. What we doing? We constantly co-creating our own reality. They had that little moment when they was with you. They thought that they was winning when they was talking that shit. Like, yeah, I get to talk shit to the star seed. I'm the bigger person. No, you ain't. You ain't the bigger person. You somewhere miserable. They somewhere mad. They somewhere stuck. They somewhere broke. They can't do nothing. They got limitations. They got people over their head telling them what the hell to do. But see, when they was with you, they, they had all free reign. See, that's the thing about coming into the presence of a star seed like yourself. You ever been in a position where people just came into your present star seat and you just notice they just get blessed? You just notice like, damn, you know, people complimenting them shit. You know what I mean? People giving them compliments like, I bet, I bet you don't get no damn compliments if you ain't with me. People giving them compliments. You know, people telling them how, how handsome that he is, how, how nice his clothes is. But shit, he don't, they don't even know you bought him the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they come in your presence, they can get some brownie points. They can get some points. They can finally eat whole foods for the first time in their life. They finally can eat a box of cereal that's, uh, that's healthy like honey bunches of oat. They used to eat honeycombs. They used to eat cornflakes and shit with bananas in them. But see, when they can get with you, you got money now. You got a nice car. They can ride in air conditioner. They don't always got to ride with the window down and stuff like that. See, when they get in your presence, they actually come up. Okay? And see, that shit goes to see the thing is the reason why they flipped on you because that shit went to their head, dog. It went to their head. You you treated them so good. You gave them red carpet treatment. You gave them your undivided attention. Okay? You you treated her like a queen, dog. And that shit that, that crown went to her damn head, dog. It went to her head, dog. She ain't never been in a position where God treated her that good. She ain't never been to a five-star restaurant before, but you took her to a five-star restaurant. She said she can get this shit anywhere. For some strange reason, she's seen an illusion. It was an illusion, dog. That's one thing about the Decepticons. They never been in a position like you before. They never been as blessed and abundant and prosperous as you before. They never know what it was like to be chosen before. But when they get into your light, when they come into your aura, when they come into your bioelectrical field and they get to experience all the fruits of your greatness and they start picking this shit off of your tree, they be tell, asking you, do you want to eat your own shit? Nigga, that's my shit. How you going to ask me if I want some of my own shit? Because they feel obligated. They, they get to a point, you treat them so good, they just start to feel like they got power. They start to feel like they obligated. They can do the, they can do the same things you do. They want to play your role. They, she wants your position. Okay, you let her in the office, she want to be in your desk. She want to sit behind your desk. She want to wear your weave. Shit, she'll take it out your half. She have to and put it in hers. The Decepticons do all kind of shit. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing they ain't limited to. They will do anything just to be like the chosen one, okay? And they somewhere, right now, they somewhere wondering like, man, I wish I could still be with you. You know what I mean? I wish I could have I wish I could have made it right with you. I wish I could have done the right thing while I had a chance. But instead, they wanted to have their little 15 minutes of shine. They thought it was going to get them somewhere. They thought that they was going to be better off without you. Failing to realize they need you more than you need them. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Listen, I ain't tell you nothing that you don't already know. All right? It's your big brother. I'm just delivering the message. I'm the mailman. This was the mail today. I seen it. I was delivered it at your door. Pawn. If you don't like the mail, damn it. Uh, cancel your uh, registration at the post office. All right? Anyway, it's your big brother, Trend Genius. Man, I told you if you stayed to the end of this video, big brother got something special for you. Hey, make sure you subscribe too, by the way. All right? Want to see more videos like this? Make sure you subscribe. You want me to deliver you some more mail? Make sure you subscribe. All right? 
But anyway, a lot of people have been getting sessions with me for the past few days, man. I've been having hella conversations with all y'all star seed. If you're a star seed and you want to have a conversation with me, just look in the comment section below this video. And at the very top comment, at the top of all the comments, okay, click where it says book a session with Big Bro Trend. Click that link right there. Also, beware of a scammer that's in the comment section. They trying they try to be like Big Bro. They got a page like Big Bro. They got a name like Big Bro. But they trying to get you to send your money to WhatsApp or Bitcoin or some shit. You know we don't fuck with that. Oh. Report that scammer, that fake Decepticon page, folks. It's your Big Brother Trangy. I got a check mark. I'm verified. Okay, if you want to know who the real trend genius is, look at the look beside my name. You'll see a verification mark. Huh? We legit. Okay, so report that scammer. Don't respond back to him. Don't let nobody take your money and bamboozle you. You ain't, you ain't no star seed if you if you if you get somebody some money through WhatsApp. What they do that at? But I'm telling you, they they somewhere regretting what they did to you because of the way they treated you, and now you living better without them. Huh? Somebody say what we want to talk. Oh, this is Big Brother, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Get out, get out my video, man.